The high-flying bombers faced the unbeaten defending premiers in a monster Anzac Day clash. A minute's silence to commemorate our fallen diggers. Collingwood wasting no time getting on the board with back-to-back -back goals, courtesy of the two Danes, Beams and Swan. Can cut the distance and put it through. Scott Pendlebury made it three straight. Gets skillfully onto the left and kicks a wonderful, wonderful goal. While big man Darren Jolly marked his return from a knee injury as the Dons were held goalless in the first quarter. Jolly, the big man, drives it home. Pendlebury added his second to extend the buffer to 29. Uses the right. He can do it left, right, any way you like. And with the Bombers still struggling in front of goal, Coach James Hurd was left scratching his head. Tom Bell Chambers provided some hope. Bell Chambers in front takes the mark. And relief when he converted his mark. Looks good off the boot and the Bombers have finally got a goal. But Alan Didak was quick to reply for the pies. Didak, all skill, all class, a Collingwood goal. Stuart Cramery added a much needed goal for Essendon. The door is open for the Dons. Stuart Cramery drills it. While Dustin Fletcher was unlucky to be fouled. Uh, really poor decision. Chris Dawes taking full advantage. Kicks the goal. Before Captain Joe Watson stood tall for the Dons. That is a superb kick. Goal and five did not leave. A fight back well and truly on the cards, with the Dons cutting the deficit to 19 at half time. Things were looking brighter for Essendon when David Hill took a great grab. Hill has got it. And he can line them up. That's massive. The Ruckman duly converted to get the Dons within reach. Curls it back and he squeezes it in. And when Cramery set up his second, Got it. Well within range. the margin was eight. David Zaharakis managed to slot in the Dons' fourth unanswered major. Picked up by Zaharakis! With the Pies looking complacent, Luke Ball added some desperation. And he manages to win. Continued pressure and a rare Collingwood error allowed Jetta to capitalise. And this time he didn't miss. He's gone on the journey. The difference now, a single point. With the Premiers hanging by a thread, Lee Brown and Beams added some much needed reprieve. Cloak, brilliant tap, Beams off the ground. Collingwood leading by 14 at three quarter time. The Dons had the momentum when Cramery got his third and Hill marked for his second before Travis Cloak turned up the heat. Cloak takes the mark, plays on goal. With back-to-back -back in lightning speed. Cloak waited down and he kicks two in a minute. But in true Anzac Day tradition, this would be a fight to the end. Cramery again, it's an open goal, his fourth. With the Pies under siege, Dawes and Cloak applied their brute force to each slot in their third. And he has kicked three goals in the last quarter. But with 90,000 fans watching, Essendon had plenty of inspiration. To Zaharakis, and that is a very good kick, a beautiful finish. Some Leon Davis magic, though, set up still side bottom to put the pies in triple figures. And steered it magnificently to side bottom to sew it up for the magpies. Pendlebury's third after the final siren, the final blow, and handing him the Anzac medal. Uh, firstly, to Essendon, uh, thanks for a great day. A uh, real tough game. You guys have come a long way and good luck for the rest of the year. To our boys, way to stick it out. We got challenged, we fought back, um, and let's move on to next week. Collingwood triumphant by 30 points to stay undefeated this season. Daniela Rintilli, Big Pond Sport.